Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to do another sketch with me today. I am doing a cottagecore theme um page today. This is in the Ohuhu um sketchbook that is brand new. I love the sketchbook so much. I was gonna do a video of it, but I got a bit too excited and forgot to record myself opening it but it is amazing and the experience of opening it was amazing because of the packaging i just got it off of amazon and it was literally perfection and it came with like um the protective sleeve i love it this is an amazing sketchbook so today i just wanted to do um just a cottagecore themed outfit here's my um inspiration right here and i love using like this pen that I got is the Magnus liquid pen and it's just a random pen I found in my grandma's house honestly and it works way better than I would have imagined I like how precise I can be with it and I'm trying to do another technique with my coloring today where I kind of like erase most of it and then go over with line art I'm pretty sure this pen is safe to use um with marker over it I just it doesn't ever turn out the liner doesn't turn out that good when I try that method and I I get like really scared to do any rendering because I don't want to overdo it and then me and mess up the liner so I think that this is a better method for me as you can you'll see at the end like I think this turned out good um right here I do not have any ink in my um brown one so I had to use the i think it is mellow yellow i will have to see I, it should pop up but i'm trying to make her have a darker skin tone without having to use a dry marker so i'm kind of just blending it into itself and it's a really good method and i've been using it for a while right here the shading that i used was way too dark so i just skipped, skipped back to that um potato brown and using it to darker things and then I remember like I've been shading with the uh, lipstick neutral natural which I love and the pastel set is amazing and I use this a lot in here even though like a lot of the colors aren't that pastel but it definitely adds interesting and new colors to your set like the green I use and you'll see a lot of these colors are from that set and I love um the set together so I would definitely recommend it here I was gonna do a checkerboard but I think like it just didn't work out and I didn't want it to be black and I don't have a darker brown so I just gave up on that idea. Um, here's the green I was talking about. It's called lime green. Nothing about it is lime like at all but it's turned out adorable and that's me trying to um, define her collar and add some brown buttons just to bring that color up. Now the ending ends up being brown, brown, <laughs> brown green and pink tone which I wasn't um, planning on doing but I realized because of her skin the brown might look really bad compared to it so I made her skin that also that lipstick natural which blends with her skin so well so that's what I use for shading and I went on and did the face I wasn't done with the um bag as you can see but I didn't want to have to you know like worry about the face being done after I colored all of this so I went on and did that I layered a highlighter as pink with the lipstick natural just to make it look um better and i think that it turned out good so it doesn't like blend in with the hair too much and he was me finishing up the line art the hand looked it pretty good um in the initial sketch i'm trying to work on them because i'm never going to get better if i just ignore them for the rest of my life so i'm trying to just do them even if they look bad and i'm just going to ignore how bad the hand look her face and her um and just the tones that it gives like so for the rest of the video you can just enjoy the music and sketch along with me if you feel like and even enjoy a little stack i'll see you guys at the end of the video
and that's all for this video i love how this turned out so much and i don't think i would change a single thing about it except maybe the hand but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time